a 0.1 kilogram mass vibrates according to the position as a function of time equals to negative 0.2 cosine 5t on a horizontal frictionless surface, where the x is in meters and the t is in seconds. Find the period, frequency, amplitude, total mechanical energy, maximum speed, and the speed at x equals to 0.1 meters. We know the position as a function of time, and we're looking for the period of the oscillation. Because the position completes one cycle in one period of time, and the cosine function completes one cycle in an angle of two pi radians, we can plug in the t equals to the period over here. So 5 times the period equals to 2 pi. So 5 times the period equals to 2 pi. That means the period equals to 2 pi divided by 5, this many seconds. You can just leave your answer in this form, or you can do the calculation and find this is 1.26 seconds. And then we want to find the frequency. We already have the period, so we can just uh, use frequency is 1 over period. So that will be 5 divided by 2 pi, and the frequency is in hertz. Or you can do this calculation, and you'll find it is 0.796 hertz. And then for amplitude, we already have this equation, so we know the amplitude is the 0.2, and that's in standard unit, so it's 0.2 meters. For total mechanical energy, let's see, the total mechanical energy is a constant during the entire oscillation. So we can use any point of the oscillation to find the total mechanical energy. And in this case, we already know the amplitude. So the end point is probably the most convenient one for us to use. At the end point, it's a turning point, so the speed is zero, no kinetic energy. All of the energy is in potential energy, one-half kx squared, and at the end point, the x is the x max, the amplitude. So this equals to one-half k. Now we all need the k. We don't have the k, but we have to find the k first, and then we have this, we can find the total mechanical energy. In this case, we have the information about the period and we have mass. So we can use the period equation to find the spring constant k. So the period is 2 pi square root of m over k. The period is 2 pi over 5 and it is 2 pi times the square root of the 0.1 kilogram divided by k. So we can cancel the 2 pi, and then that means we have 1 fifth equals to the square root of 0.1 over k. And we can square both sides. 1 over 25 equals to 0.1 over k. Cross multiply, and we get k equals to 2.5. So 2.5 is k. We can put it over here and do the calculation and we'll find the total mechanical energy to be 0.05 joules. And then we want to find the maximum speed. The maximum speed happens at the equilibrium. So we can use conservation of energy and look at the equilibrium. At the equilibrium, there is no energy stored in the spring. There is only 1 half mv squared, and the v is the v max. So this equals to 1 half times 0.1 times the v max we're looking for squared. And I can set this equal to 0.05 joules. And I will have the v max to be 1 meter per second. And the last question is we want to find the speed at x equals to 0.1 meters. That is uh, neither the equilibrium nor the end point. 
So it's somewhere between the end point and the equilibrium, which means uh, we can still use the conservation of energy to find the speed, but it's somewhere other than end point and the equilibrium. So at any point in between, we have both kinetic energy and the potential energy. So we have both 1 half mv squared and 1 half kx squared. So 1 half m point 0.1 times v squared. We're looking for this v, and we have 1 half k is 2.5 times the x. Right now, this x is 0.1. So we have 0.1 squared over here. And this total mechanical energy still equals to the same 0.05 joules. So we set this equal to 0.05 and then solve for V. We'll have only one unknown, so we can find the V. And in this case, you will find the speed to be 0.866 meters per second.